amazing animals. Uh, so first things first, because you've set the scene, I've mentioned uh, that really unique island Madagascar uh, is where uh, lemurs come from. And now I've used lots of words to describe it already, even in the introduction. Unique, really amazing, really uh, interesting, but it really uh, is very true for this island. It is very unique, as lots of its plants and animal species can't be found anywhere else in the world apart from on this island of Madagascar. So it's very, very unique. And that's the same for our lemurs. They can only be found on the Madagascar. So what are lemurs? They look a bit strange. If you were to look at them, you'd be forgiven to think they might be some strange combination of a cat, dog and a squirrel. Perhaps strange combination there. Uh, I can safely say this isn't the case. Of course, they are a species in their own right. A lot of people think they may be a type of monkey. Uh, I love sounds completely, very good guess. But again, two very different species. But how is a lemur and a monkey? There's lots of different types of lemurs. They come in all different shapes and sizes. So some may look very similar to a monkey. The best tip I can give is again to think about your location. So if you know you're on the island of Madagascar, you're definitely looking at a lemur. If you're elsewhere in the world, it's definitely a monkey. Other characteristics, of course, uh, do come into play. So lemurs tend to be a little bit more slender with a long, wet snout. And monkeys tend to have a shorter snout. So this actually suggests lemurs have an incredible sense of smell uh, as well. So uh, lots of different ways to distinguish them. Uh, but lemurs alone, amongst their own species, have lots and lots of different uh, types of lemurs amongst themselves. So there's thought to be around 100 different types of lemur alone on that island of Madagascar. Uh, so they of course come in lots of different shapes and sizes. So the smallest, uh, try and picture just how cute this one will be, uh, is actually roughly the size of your little pinky finger, your smallest finger, around six centimetres tall. And uh, this is the mouse lemur, incredibly sweet. Very, very tiny indeed. Uh, but going from the smallest right to the tallest, we come to the injury lemur, who can actually reach heights of just under one metre tall, which is actually roughly the same height as a chimpanzee. Can you imagine a lemur this size? But even more incredible, try and picture a lemur that lived many, many years ago that was even larger and rumoured to be the size or the height of a silverback gorilla. Can you imagine coming face to face with a lemur this size? Quite, quite intimidating, but just magnificent. Unfortunately, this type of lemur, as well as 16 other different types, have now become extinct, of course. Very, very sad. And it's because the other primates learned to travel the seas, found their way onto the island of Madagascar, and caused a lot of trouble. I am, of course, talking about us humans. We do cause a lot of trouble, unfortunately, in the form of deforestation in this case. Uh, this is still happening using their habitat for our own purposes, uh, which is really detrimental to the future of these guys. So, uh, do not fret too much. There is something really simple that each and every one of us can do. Uh, so I'm just going to hold up my, lo uh, my very important logo here, my trusty logo. I'll try and manoeuvre it around so the majority of you can see. But if you can't, it's a tree with a tick. And it's the FSC's logo, really important. And basically, if you're 